wanted to just take a minute to uh, share with you a, a challenge a friend of mine is facing and actually a, a larger challenge that a lot of people like my friend Joel are facing each and every day here in our country that could actually be very easily remedied. Uh, you see my friend Joel uh, Christopher Ramadadan, uh, someone that I met actually about uh, oh gosh it must have been 15 16 years ago as a uh, as a result of a book that he had written I was first introduced to him uh, by this book mining online gold with an offline shovel well being someone who's interested in marketing uh, you know I knew that uh, this was something that I wanted to uh, to learn more about and so uh, bought the book ultimately bought some of Joel's uh, marketing courses he was uh, known as the master list builder and uh, learned a lot from Joel well fortunately in about 2005 I had the privilege of meeting Joel and uh, getting a chance to uh, converse with him and uh, learn a little bit more about his business and how he practiced life well over the next several years I kind of lost track of Joel and well I reconnected with him earlier this year you see I'd only known him as Joel Christopher uh, kind of his pen name using his middle name and when I finally found where he was there on Facebook and put things together I was kind of surprised that he had dropped out of the uh, uh, the quote uh, what we might call guru training spotlight that he had been in several years before and Joel is now working as a as a physical therapist but Joel is facing a critical issue in his life uh, Joel was actually born uh, with a diseased kidney uh, he has lived with it he's done wonderful things he works now as a physical therapist uh, he's 50 years old and he's the father of uh, two children and a single dad raising his kids but you see the challenge that Joel's facing now is he has entered what they call uh, the fifth stage the final stage of renal failure uh, his kidneys are not not functioning he's reliant on dialysis and sadly it's just a matter of time until the disease will take its toll the good news is that uh, with today's modern medicine uh, kidneys can be replaced we can have a donor we can operate on one kidney and so Joel is desperately looking for someone who'd be willing to donate their kidney to him so that he can continue to live as well as they would be able to function as well one of the things that I learned as I started learning more about Joel was that uh, and his kidney challenges was that uh, we can actually live quite fine with only one kidney in fact maybe that's why God gave us two of them so that we'd have one as a spare uh, to share with someone else and uh, of course if our other one gives out then someone can share one with us uh, sadly today there are 98,000 people in our country that are waiting for a kidney uh, not enough kidneys are made available simply through uh, through those who donate them at the time of death but there are plenty of kidneys out there if we would all be more willing to share our spare kidney uh, second thing that I discovered is that 4,500 people actually die every year simply because no one was willing to share with them their kidney well as I learn more about Joel's challenges about Joel's quest to find a donor uh, I went out to the website to check and see what I could do to assist him personally you know I've got uh, two well-functioning kidneys and I know my mama lived for years with only one kidney and so I know that it's very possible and she was well into her 90s and her uh, passing had nothing to do with the fact that she only operated on one kidney but uh, unfortunately I discovered that number one I'm uh, too old I'm above the age where a donation would be accepted uh, secondly uh, I do know that I had had some uh, 
some kidney challenges in my youth, and I'm not sure whether they would have disqualified me as well. But bottom line, since I can't donate one of my kidneys, I want to help spread the word uh, not only for Joel, but for other people that may be in your life uh, that are looking for a kidney, that need a kidney, and that you can actually share and give them an extended lease on life. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Joel and his quest for a kidney, or if you would love to uh, to donate a kidney to Joel, uh, please take a moment, visit, uh, visit Joel's website, uh, kidneyforjoel.com. Uh, that's kidneyforjoel.com. And you can learn more about uh, kidney donations, what can be done in our wonderful country, uh, with our modern medicine if we only have people willing to step up and share. Uh, also, I don't normally ask this, but I do ask that uh, I ask that not only you taking your time and go visit the website, but please would love to see this video go viral. Not for me, not only for Joel, but for every person that could use a kidney and there's people who would be happy to donate if they only knew how important it was.